Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to image the patient NVMe SSDs using the DFL SRP data recovery hardware. Now we can check this picture and this picture shows how to connect the NVMe SSD to SRP by the latest DFL SATA to USB adapter. Now we can see that this is the SATA interface and this one is the USB interface. Now we are using one NVMe to USB adapter to place the NVMe SSDs so that we can connect the NVMe SSD to the NVMe to USB adapter and then connect the USB interface to the SATA to USB adapter. So by this method, we can simply connect all the NVMe SSDs to the DFL SRP data recovery hardware. After the hardware connection, we can go to the DFL SRP data recovery software control panel. Now we can see this is control panel. We have collected one NVMe SSD to the SATA 0. Now like this picture, this is the SATA 0 and this is the ID port and this is the SATA 1. Now let's go to uh, check the SATA 0 double click and select the DDP data recovery software. Now we can click power on to offer power to the NVMe SSD. Now we can see, now we can offer power to the NVMe SSD by this method. Now we just need to wait until the log window shows that the NVMe SSD is found properly by the DFL DDP data recovery software. can try to power off, power on the NVMe SSD again. Now we can see searching completed. So we can go to new project, try to set up one file extraction or disk image project. We select disk image first to image this patient NVMe SSD. Now we can try to uh, create one VHD. Uh, this is one 128 GB NVMe SSD. So we create one VHDX and click create. Okay, close. So this VHDX has been selected automatically as the target drive. Now we click finish. This is the NVMe to USB adapter. So uh, this model has been detected as the J Tech. This is the NVMe to USB adapter and the NVMe SSD has been connected to this adapter. Now, 
we can try to set the disk image to start this NVMe SSD image. Untick this one, so the image speed will be higher. And here we can try to change the block size to 256 and read models. Here we can use the default settings or we can use the intelligent read. Now click OK. So we can click start. Now we can see that the SRP is now imaging this NVMe SSD. We can see check the current imaging speed. It's about 30 MB per second. Now this is the current disk imaging speed. So it's also uh, it's a good speed. Anyway, uh, this is USB 2 imaging speed. If users wish to image or extract the lost files from the NVMe SSDs at high speed, then users can go to the Dorden Data Lab official website here and select the data recovery tools menu and use the DFLURE plus NVMe version. And this is the USB 3 imaging speed. So it is much higher speed. Now this is adapter required to image the NVMe SSD using the DFSRP data recovery hardware. And if users wish to extract lost files directly from the NVMe SSDs, so users can click stop here. And this one, we can see this file as uh, this icon is file extraction. And we can click file extraction. And we can see here, this is the file extraction interface. And we can try to double click to expand the file directory. Here, we can extract the NOST files after the file directory is nested here. Because right now, the program is working on the VHDX. We just selected part of the MVMSS to be imaged. So at this time, now we can see the files has been nested here. So with this DFL SATA to USB adapter and users can use the DFL SRP to image the NVMe SSD or extract the files directly.